So today I've got some eggs from some Phyllium leaf insects and we have eggs from the Phyllium mabenti which have small dots at the back where light can shine through to look like snake's eyes and also um, some eggs from the Phyllium ericorii and the uh, third lot of eggs from the Phyllium giganteum. Now the eggs we've got are here. The first three are from the Phyllium mabenti insect and then the sort of white or beigey ones come from the Phyllium ericorii and then the slightly larger um, ones at the end are from the Phyllium giganteum leaf insect. I'll just try and zoom in. Uh, on the Phyllium giganteum you can see little sort of holes or pores on them, presumably to let air in for the developing hatchlings. Um, it's interesting that the Phyllium giganteum are sort of large and dark and then the Phyllium ericorii are beige or white and the Phyllium mabenti are sort of smaller and have little sort of prickles on them as well. So they're quite different shaped eggs. Um, the hatchlings can take anywhere from four months or so, uh, maybe four to six months for the Phyllium mabenti. Um, probably similar for the uh, Phyllium ericorii and much longer for the Phyllium giganteum. It could be eight months or even up to a year for the Phyllium giganteum to hatch out. When the hatchlings of the Phyllium mabenti hatch out, eventually they grow to look uh, either like um, that for the female on the left, although she's not full size there, or the male ones have wings and large antennae on them. Uh, the females do get full length wing coverings on them, and the Phyllium ericorii look slightly different from the um, Phyllium mabenti. Okay, that's uh, the eggs for those leaf insects, and hopefully, we'll get some hatchlings sometime soon.